time of year when we're all excited about great cooking, great comfort food, the wonderful foods that warm us right down to our toes. And we've got a today's special value that is going to knock your socks off. Ninja is that name synonymous with quality and wonderful performance when it comes to wonderful appliances in our kitchens and things to clean up our homes. But I'll tell you, this is your time to think about a wonderful four in one. This is not only going to be a steamer, but it will also be a roaster. It's also a slow cooker and it's going to be a stovetop. Having all of those in one machine is a big part of the story why this has been so popular. In fact, it's our lowest price multi cooker ninja we've ever offered as a today's special value. And since midnight last night, we have taken orders now for over 40,000 of these for the day. That brings us to over 10,000 in this show alone. I can also tell you that we have started the day with seven colors and now there are only five. We have sold out of the black, we've sold out of the stainless steel, and there's a better than good chance we may sell out of a couple more in this final presentation of the day. Now, we're going to begin for you in cobalt blue. Cobalt blue is a gorgeous color and will match back to so many of the other appliances you have in your kitchen. When I say appliances, I mean the countertop appliances that you purchased on QVC. If you want the white, we have fewer than 150 to go around in that white. That white, it's probably a better than good chance that that white will go in this presentation. We also have it for you in the brand new color of green. I have fewer than 2,400 left in the screen. Please don't wait on that. It is a brand new color today. We've never done the Ninja in green before. Here it is in cinnamon. I have fewer than 1,800 left in the cinnamon, and I will tell you that cinnamon has been super popular today. Don't miss out on that. And then finally, our other very popular and brand new color, eggplant. I have fewer than 900 to go around in that eggplant. Now, I do want to remind you that this value is extraordinary because we're going to include an awful lot with this. We're going to include, obviously, the Ninja Multi Cooker that comes along with the new glass lid, the roast and steam rack, the bake pan, and there's a cookbook in here with 150 recipes, 75 of them brand new, and 75 are returning Ninja favorites. I will tell you there's also an insulated travel bag that comes along with this, and if you went out to retail, to build this identical offer, you would pay $196. We've got that same pack up today, only until the end of the day today, and only while our supply lasts, at $129.96, and not three, but four easy payments of $32.49. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Now's the time to bring your Ninja home, whether it's going to be one for your own kitchen, or it's that great gift idea for the holiday season. I will remind you, if any color sells out, and we've already lost two, there is no quantity coming in behind this. What we brought in for the day is all we have for the day. So if there's a color you know you need to have, I will give you a special heads up, very limited in eggplant, cinnamon, and white. Don't miss out on any of those. Let's come over here and welcome Bob Warden. He has been busy cooking all day. You got one more in you? I do have one. All more right, in good deal. Because I'm excited. I mean, I'm so gratified that people are loving the four in one even more than the three in one, which they made customer top mm -hmm. And I'm just so happy about everything that's happened today. Well, we've got a big, big day, and we're going to begin here with something that I think most people like to cook. We're going to check your uh, mic just one second, Bob. So if you'll step right there and just let them double check your mic, make sure that it is working properly. I'll remind you four easy payments on your credit card of $32.49. Final presentation for you tonight. And I will also tell you we're going to begin with something that an awful lot of people love to cook. Well, everybody loves to cook roasts of any kind. Roast chicken is probably the most uh, favorite roast in the United States. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Ninja 4-in-1 to cook it in a different way. Okay. We're going to use the stovetop setting to brown it first. That's what we've been doing is browning this chicken. And then we're going to steam roast it. Now, the reason we're going to steam roast it is we're going to cook it about twice as fast, but more important, we're going to cook it with more remaining moisture than we would in a dry oven. So now at the bottom of this now, we have that beautiful fond mm -hmm. that's come from the, the browning of the chicken. We're going to deglaze it mm. with some chicken stock. And that stock is going to become the liquid that's going to do three things for us. First, it's going to be the, what's going to send through steam. It's going to create our steam for steam roasting our chicken. And we're going to add in some aromatics. Fresh thyme, fresh rosemary. Mm. Mm. Mary, this rosemary smells so good. It smells so good. It doesn't smell great. I love rosemary. And all that aroma is going and to go then up into the chicken. Garlic cloves. Right. So then we place the chicken back in, but now we've put it on the steam rack. We place it back in here, and let me show you how easy it is now to turn this from a oven to, I mean, from a skillet to an oven. So we've been on skillet high, 
Now we're going to turn it to oven. Notice it defaults immediately to 350 degrees. We'll turn it to 375. We'll hit this little time bar here that allows us to turn this into a timer. We'll cook that chicken for 55 minutes. And 55 minutes later, over here, through the magic of Ooh, television, come on now, get <laughs> it. we have our chicken already done, all ready to go, which we're going to set here and let rest for a second. I'm going to take out the, uh, the rack, mm -hmm. and David, I'll remove these uh, aromatics. So we'll get and then all of our can, herbs out. You can make the gravy. I would love to. There we go. Okay. I got it. All right. Perfect. Perfect. So we'll take that out, and what we've done is we've left the garlic cloves down inside. I sometimes like, I like to smash those garlic cloves down inside because remember when garlic roasts like this, it gets mild and nutty. So I would definitely smash those down. And then we did a little um, chicken stock and cornstarch, right? And made a little slurry. Right. Remember, your slurry should always be cool. Don't ever add chicken stock to a hot liquid. You want to stir it up in something cool. So some cool chicken stock. And you can see the, the gravy bubbling down there. We can bubble it even faster by turning this to our high yes, skillet. Yeah, to setting. our skillet mode. So let me put this back here and give this. So a the quick same stir. thing that we browned, that we steam roasted the chicken in. Now we're going to make the gravy. And we'll make one delicious, fantastic, thick chicken gravy to go on this beautiful roasted, steam roasted chicken. Now, for our last cell here, I can tell you, David, we overcooked this chicken. And even though we overcooked this chicken, all right, I want you to look at the juices that are remained in here. This chicken's probably cooked to 200 degrees, but look at it. Look at what's, look at the table down here. And look at the juices in the roast, in, in the white meat. It's just swimming in juices. Even though we cooked it to well, well, well done, that would never happen in a dry oven. In a dry oven, if you cooked at that same internal temperature, that chicken would be dry toast. Instead, we have a wonderful liquid chicken that David is just going to lose his mind mm. over here. Right? Oh, yeah. There we go. Gravy's not quite thick enough yet, but we'll put some on there. Okay. I'll have to cut it with a fork, which you can, mm -hmm. because that chicken is so tender. Thank you. Oh, wow. Right. So now we've taken a chicken that we normally would have taken twice as long to cook. We took ha about mm. half the time. We kept mm. about half more moisture in it. So mm. normally that chicken mm. would lose about 40% of its weight. Not only is it super moist, Bob, but it's super flavorful. Because all of those aromatics we put in there really infuse that chicken with some great, great flavors. And it's just bursting with moisture. That's fantastic. Isn't it great? And that gravy is yummy. So mm. number one of the four in one is using it as a stove top to steam roast. Now, I will tell you also, all of the recipes that we're showing you tonight are in the cookbook that comes with your machine. So you do not need to worry about where am I going to find those recipes? Do I have to download them from, from .com? Do I have to print them off on my computer? No, no, no. They're all in the book that comes with. In fact, the book is out front here. Let me grab it and tell you 150 recipes inside 75 of them are brand new that you've never seen in the ninja cookbook before and 75 are returning favorites so this is going to be something very very special there is a whole parcel of recipes in here that are designed for 30 minute or less preparation right and so you're talking about 30 next. minute meals 30 minutes or less right right so here we're going to make a 30 minute meal and we have over 50 of them so we use the stovetop again to uh, to saute our onions now we have recipes where we're taking frozen things. Now, in this case, we're taking frozen meatballs, okay? Are these chicken meatballs? These are chicken meatballs. Okay. Then we're going to take frozen pasta, all right? Some cheese tortellini? Yes, some cheese tortellini. And then we're going to take a Alfredo sauce. And this is a, a jarred sauce? Just a jarred sauce, Okay. right? You know, I, there are some pantry staples I always have in my house, and one of them is usually a jar or two of Alfredo sauce because it can go so far. You can quick pair it with pasta or what have you. So stock your pantry. This is the secret easy. ingredient. It's water, and the precise amount of water that you need. And some spinach. Yeah. And some spinach, and we're going to save some of it as garnish. Some of the spinach. Now this is very liquidy, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this now on the oven setting, and we're going to cook this for 30 minutes. Now, at the end of 30 minutes, we have the recipe written so that the water will now have become a creamy sauce as it reduces. Mm. The frozen pasta will be perfectly cooked, and the frozen meatballs will be perfectly cooked. They look and great. That's what I'm telling David. We'll see. He can pass his own judgment. All right, let's hit this with some Parmesan cheese. Okay. You want a little parsley? Just a little. Just yep. a little. Okay. Thank you. There you go. 
Now, think of it. Coming home, taking something frozen out of the freezer, some pasta out mm -hmm. of the pantry, and mm -hmm. making a 30-minute meal, a complete meal that your yes, family sir. can absolutely love. Mm. Mm. Isn't that wonderful? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. From frozen. Right. Spaghetti and meatball, 30 minutes. Love it. These are the kinds of recipes that your family's going to love, and mom and dad, you will not have to lose your mind trying to make because they're only 30 minute meals. Lasagna in 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, there are so many yummy recipes in here. Mmm. Wow, that's delicious. Mmm. All right. Let's talk colors. Let's remind you that we are busy on our phone lines. In fact, for the day, now we have taken orders for. 41,000. That's over 11,000 in this show alone. Here it is in cobalt blue. I also have it for you in the white, but if you want this white, let me update you there. I have four dozen left in the white. Flying out of here, don't wait on the white. 48. That would be correct. Your math is good. All right, we also have it for you in green. This is a brand new color, 2,300 left in that green. Here it is in cinnamon. Fewer than 1,600 left to go around in the cinnamon, and that has been now our most popular color, so don't miss out on cinnamon. And finally, in the eggplant, which is another new color, I have fewer than 800 to go around. Now, Bob, with this machine, you're also getting 150 recipes in the cookbook. And remember, each one of these recipes, we spent almost two years working on this cookbook, bringing you recipes that were designed to cook in the Ninja 4-in-1, over 50 recipes that take less than 30 minutes to, to prepare, roasts, chickens, <laughs> every kind of thing that you can think of. Uh, it is absolutely wonderful cookbook, desserts, mm. If you want to learn how to use your Ninja cooker, start cooking in this cookbook and then you can adapt your own recipes because it's going to be faster and more delicious. I mean, think about how many things you put in the slow cooker. Bing, bing, right here. And my recipe, the Philly cheesesteak dip, you can do in the Ninja as well. I did. Now, I've got this for you with the cookbook. You also get the baking pan, the steaming rack, and this insulated carrier. If you were to go to retail to build this same offer, you would pay nearly $200 for it. At retail, on average, you pay $196. Bucks. We've got it today and only until the end of the day today and only while our supply lasts at $129.96 and then easy pay. Four easy payments on your credit card of only $32.49. Now, let's go to our phones. We're going to welcome Kim in Kentucky. Kim, how are you tonight? Hi, Kim. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Hello, Kim. We're doing well. It's nice to have you with us tonight. And which color do we have for you, Kim? I got eggplant. Oh, this one. One of our brand new colors today. Yes, and I'm so excited. I've been without a slow cooker for about six months now. Okay. And when I saw the versatility of everything you can do with this, I was like, oh, my gosh, I've got to get that. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Versatility is a good word, Kim. Indeed. Well, this yes. is going to be perfect. So slow cooking, roasting, baking, I mean, good grief, you can do it just about every everything in here. You can even steam in this. I know. I'm just, I guess that's the reason I just couldn't find anything I liked until tonight. And I've watched it all day long, and I'm like, this is just too great of an offer to pass up. I can do so many things in it and, you know, not have to use my oven and heat up the house and just one pot thing. I love that. Oh, Kim, call great. us in about a month after you've used it and tell us how much you love it now. Oh, I sure will. Oh, perfect. Well, I tell you what we'll do. We'll get that eggplant out to you right away. It's one of our brand new colors and now one of our more limited colors. So I'm glad you got it when you did. Me too. Thank you so much, guys. You're quite yeah. welcome. Great to chat with you, Kim. Me too. Take Don't care. Have a good one. You too, uh -huh. sweetie. Good night. Okay, what do you say we make some? Oh, wait, I do have an update, real quickly. We have sold out of the white. All right, so the white has left the building. Thanks, Barb. So let's move our cinnamon over and tell you we started the day with seven colors, and then there were four. Okay, I have it in cobalt. I have it in cinnamon, and cinnamon now, fewer than 1,400 left to go around. This is my now most popular color. Don't wait on that cinnamon. Even though I have 1,400 of them left, it's also the most popular color right now, so please don't wait on that. Here it is in the green. Fewer than 2,300 left in that brand new green today, and our last caller picked up the eggplant. 
but we have fewer than 700 left to go around, going very, very quickly. What do you say we make some chili? Okay, so now we're going to use the slow cooker fun function, but unlike most slow cookers, which you can't brown, you have to get the whole stove dirty with other pots mm -hmm. and pans, right? We've browned this on our stove top setting. Now, once we have the browning done, then we can add our other ingredients. Now, I actually sauteed here also our onions and our green peppers in here, and then now I can add my uh, pre-cooked beans, these are canned beans that were drained, our tomato sauce, our spices, our chili spices, and David, if you'll stir those together, sure. then what I'm going to do is come around here in front and show you how easy it is now to turn this from the stove top into the slow cooker. So right now it's set on stove top, that's what I browned everything on. I'm going to turn it over here to slow cooker high. That defaults to four hours. If I was slow cooker low, it would default to eight hours. However, I'm totally in control of how long that cooks. Now this chili, because it's being cooked with uh, pre-cooked beans, with canned beans, it's only going to take 30 minutes to heat up and cook, because really all we're doing is, is heating it up. Now, once we start that, Okay, it's going to cook, count down for 30 minutes, and then when it's done, it's going to ding, right? It's going to tell you it's done. Then you can move it over here to the warm setting, and it's going to allow this to become the buffet server, and you're going to be able to serve that chili for the next 10 hours if you want. It's going to hold it at that perfect 158 degrees. Well, we've got a batch all finished, so let's go ahead and do a little reveal here. We've got it in the cinnamon color, and check this out, beautiful chili. And this recipe is in the cookbook, so you'll be good to go there. Let's get some uh, delicious cheese to go on top. Uh, again, you know, you know, you went crazy over the turkey chili earlier this evening, and the difference is, I'm telling you, is that you browned that turkey, that ground turkey, and that's what gives that intense meaty flavor that you don't get when you just throw meat in a slow cooker and you don't brown it first. Mm -hmm. This smells great. A little hot. Oh yeah, I see. Mm. How's that? Oh, Bob. I love the spices in here. It's not too hot, but super flavorful. Oh, it's really good. Mm. This is another 30-minute meal when you use, you know, your pre-cooked beans. Well, and you know what's nice about this? In 30 minutes that it takes for this to set up in the Ninja, that gives me just enough time to put together a loaf of cornbread. I can do a little pan of cornbread and have cornbread to go with the chili. Right. And you also can, of course, bake that cornbread in here, also like we did the bread pudding in exactly. the pan if you want. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's wonderful. That's wonderful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, last but Warm not least, comfort food. I love it. <laughs> is we're going to show you how to use the steamer setting. Now, of course, it comes with a steamer rack. You can steam vegetables, you can steam fish, you can steam chicken. You can also brown and steam. Now, when would you do that? I love to do chicken breasts where it's big, thick ones, and then I'll brown it real quick, and then I'll steam it. Okay. So it makes a great combination. You can also, underneath here, instead of having plain water, you can have rice cooking. You can okay. have quinoa cooking. You can have pasta cooking wow. right underneath it. So here in this case, what we've done is we've done our salmon. And to give it a little boost of flavor, we have some underneath here. Do we have any lemons this time? I think we ran out of lemons, right? We may have used them all we today. We may have used mm -hmm. them all up. So this becomes a very flaky, very moist. As you know, when you steam fish, there's no moisture way for it to, to cook it. So in five minutes, that salmon is done ready to serve. It's beautiful. Now what have you here on the end, sir? Well here on the end is I have a dip. Now this is a, a buffalo chicken dip. So again we used Ooh. the skillet to brown the chicken. Yeah. Right? Then we added the rest of the ingredients. The recipe's right here in this in this cookbook. In the cookbook, right. And it's a wonderful buffalo dip that has cheese mixed into it. It is delicious. You're gonna go nuts over this. It looks favorite. great. Yeah. So grab your favorite chip. Okay. Pita or I corn. Have a pita chip, sure. Okay. Because you're going to be repeat of eating this. Ha ha! All right, here we go. Whoop, whoop. Mm. Oh, wow, that's yummy. Isn't that yum, yum, mm -hmm. yummy? Almost as good as my Philly cheesesteak dip you're going to taste shortly. Almost as good. Almost. That's good. That's high praise. It's in the same neighborhood of goodness. <laughs> yes, it is. I will tell you, this is K41333, and we're busy on our phone lines. Let's go to Val. Hi, Val. In Wisconsin. Hello, Hi. Val. Hi. How are you tonight? Oh, great. Great. I just ordered two. Wow. I got a blue one and a green one for my daughters for Christmas. And what about yourself? And, well, you know, I thought of that, and I thought, well, seeing as I ordered the Couric 
too. <laughs> <laughs> you're at your limit for the day. Well, maybe Cure yeah. will be for you and Ninja will be for them, right? <laughs> well, I'll just borrow it. Well, Gee, or, my one daughter's only a block away from me. Well, Val, here's a plan. Give her the Ninja and then she'll cook for you. Yeah, that's right. See there? Not just another yeah. pretty face. It's good thinking, Val. It's good thinking. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you guys, you guys do a great job. I wish I was. I could come through the screen and try all the food. Oh, my goodness. You know what, Val? I've said it once. I've said it a million times. I have the best job in the world. I know you do. And I am thankful every day for it. The good Lord has blessed me with one fantastic job. So oh, I will yes, tell you, yes. this I is... I beg pardon? Go ahead. No, no. I was just going to say, this is going to be something that your whole family will enjoy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I think everybody on QVC is just great. Oh, we appreciate I, that. I watch it on and off all the time, and um, I just love it. I just, they're so, I, I've ordered shoes all the time off of their Clarks. I have, I couldn't tell you what I order off. <laughs> Well, that's part of the fun. It's a surprise when it shows up, right? You got it. There you go. And well, I like your helper, too, because he's really looking like a good cook. I should have him at my house. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know what? It's all a big team effort here at In the Kitchen with David. That's for sure. I know. That is for sure. Y'all do a wonderful job. You're Thank all my you. favorites. There's no, you know. You guys are great. Thank you. Thank you, Val. So, Val, have a great, great night. Tell your daughters oh, that we wish them happy holidays and you all enjoy all that good food, okay? Well, you too, and happy holidays and a wonderful new year to Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you. Good night now. Bye-bye. We're very busy on our phone lines, and I'll tell you, everybody is choosing their color, but, Bob, we only have four remaining. We started the day with seven total colors, and now we're down to only four. So I would encourage you to go ahead and make your choice because here's the story. We began the day, or actually for the day now, we have taken orders, 42 thousand gone. That means 12,000 gone during In the Kitchen with David tonight. So we have this for you in cobalt blue. We have it for you in cinnamon. Now, cinnamon has been our most popular, and I have fewer than 900 left to go around oh, in that that's cinnamon. That's going to be gone. Here's your green, brand new today, very popular. Fewer than 2,000 now in the green. And if you want the eggplant, fewer than 500 left. Bob, it's time for more good food. Let's head down here and remind okay. everybody, as we do, there's a value story here. If you were to go to retail to build this identical offer, you would have to dig a whole lot deeper in your pocket. In fact, $196 is what you'd pay. We've got it tonight for only $129.96, and that price, Bob, only good until the end of the day today, right. or while our supply lasts, whichever you know comes first. And then the travel bag is included as well. So four easy payments of only $32.49. We're getting busy on our phone lines. What do you have here, sir? Well, here, I've just simply got the spare so this is simple. If you just want to steam a side dish, all you do is put water in the bottom. It only takes one cup. You come over here to the steam setting, which is now part of the four and one, and then you set the time. And when you steam, you really only need with asparagus about four minutes, and that's that asparagus is going to be perfectly cooked. Now, because you want to take it out as soon as it's done, right? It will beep to you when those four minutes are up, and you'll be able to stop it and you'll have perfectly cooked asparagus, green beans, corn, whatever you're doing. Mmm, it's all so good. Let's welcome Carol, who's joining us in Pennsylvania. Carol, good evening. How are you? I'm great. And you? We're doing very well. Bob and I would love to know, what did you hear or see with today's special value that impressed you? Well, I've been watching it all day, and I just, uh, I decided this is it. I wanted it for some time. <laughs> Well, well, you wouldn't wonderful. be alone because it has been such a popular item, and today it was just an irresistible uh, offer to pass up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I saw the chicken and the gravy, and I'm thinking chicken and gravy and biscuits. Yes. Oh, yeah. Carol, why don't we live next door to one another? That's my kind of cooking. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, you're already in Pennsylvania. We don't, well, so somehow we'll have to work this out. Yes, yes. Well, you're welcome anytime. Well, that would be fantastic. Now, Carol, tell me, which color do we have for you tonight? I got the white. Oh, you got it before it sold out. Excellent. Yes, yes. Oh, that's lucky. I can't wait to get it. I'm going to try all kinds of things, steaming and bacon and 
slow cooking. Right. Well, <laughs> don't forget, you will get a, a cookbook with this. And yes, I'm that hoping cookbook, that I can work with that. Yes, ma'am. It's going to have 150 recipes inside, all uniquely designed for this machine. This is no pamphlet. There are 150 recipes in here, gorgeous color photos, easy to follow recipes. I mean, there's the hot buffalo chicken dip Bob made earlier. Only yes, five that steps. Looks good. Isn't that crazy? Yes. Yummy. And I'm wanting to try your dip. Oh, you know what? It's coming. We're going to show you the finished dip at the end of the show, and you can find my recipe on QVC.com. Great. That Great. is awesome. Carol, we're so tickled to meet you tonight. Well, I'm glad to finally talk to you. Excellent. Excellent. You take good I care. I watch you every Wednesday and every Sunday. We appreciate that more than you know, and I hope you and your family have a fantastic upcoming holiday season. You also. Thank and you, Carol. tell Bob Merry Christmas also. Indeed. Merry Christmas to you, Carol. All right. Bye take bye. Care. Bye bye. Okay, what's next, my friend? Well, here we have a southwestern um, taco ziti, right? Where we Ooh, started like with, a taco with, ziti. We bake. started with dry pasta, but what we did is we browned the uh, ground beef first, right? Uh -huh. Then we added the liquid, just like we did originally there, and we cooked this in less than 30 minutes, and it ends up with a perfect sauce, just like we did with that Ooh, frozen pasta. That looks yummy. Mm -hmm. All right, I love ziti. This is such a simple recipe. Brown it. Pour in the rest of the ingredients, cover it, set it. 30 minutes later, you have a meal. That's fantastic. Kids are going to love this. Oh, yeah. Because it, it's all the flavors of taco in a pasta bake with wonderful cheese and ground beef. It's not spicy hot. No, it's got the taco seasoning we use. And you got the taco seasoning, but that's something that you already understand and you know what it tastes like. Your kids will love this. And mom and dad, you're not going to dislike it either. Yeah, well, mm. David likes it. You know that it's darn good, and boy, oh does it taste good. That is yummy. Yes, it is. Yes, I could eat several plates of that. Mm. <laughs> mm. Now, this recipe is in the book. We made a special point to make sure that every recipe we showed you throughout the day, we made from the cookbook. Because we want everybody to know, you're getting this book in your box, so when you open up your box with your new ninja, Find your cookbook inside, 150 plus recipes, and they are yummy, gorgeous color photos. This book, worth the price of admission. Okay, what's next? Now we're gonna do another dessert. In this case, we're using the steamer setting again of the four in one, right? And we're using it to make a cornbread, or a uh, bread, bread pudding. pudding. Now I'm not sure this is hot, Dave. We may have not been planning to do this, this uh, presentation, but it's still gonna be good, even cold. Okay, mm. because it's going to be very moist. All right. So when we steam bake, just like when we steam roast, we're preserving that moisture that would normally be bought, in, uh, lost in a big dry oven. So all your baked mm. goods. It is a little warm. It's a little warm. Super moist. Right. Buttery. And delicious. And chocolate. Ha <laughs> ha! That's yummy. And you know what? The next day that would be even better if you cut it into little planks and made French toast out of it. It would be fantastic. And serve that with some uh, maple syrup. Good morning. All right, this is K41333. We'll invite all of you to stay on the line because we're getting busy here in our last five and a half minutes of the presentation. Everybody is jumping online to grab their ninja before their color is gone. We're going to welcome Robin in Colorado. Robin, good evening. How are you? Hi, Robin. Oh, fine. Hi. Hi. Nice to have you with us tonight. What do you think of the ninja? Oh, I have. Uh, three and one that my daughter permanently borrows, so now I'm updating for me. Well, <laughs> how about that? So you're getting the four in one model and you're getting a bunch of new recipes, too. Well, she's borrowing oh. the three in one from me because she loves to cook in it. Oh, yes. It helps her out a lot. Well, this is going to be just perfect. And now you're going to have that same kind of flexibility in your machine, but also brand new recipes to try as we get into these cold weather months. Oh, so these are new recipes that aren't in the... 75 of them are new book? and 75 are of the old favorites from the book you have. Exactly. So oh. you, you'll get 75 brand new recipes with your purchase today. Wonderful. Excellent. Well, I'll tell you, well, let me ask you real quickly, what color did you choose tonight, Robin? I got the green because it kind of goes with my southwestern decor. That's perfect. And I love this green. It's so cheerful and so beautiful. I think that's going to look really sharp in your kitchen. Oh, yes. Excellent. And that's also one of our brand new colors tonight. Yes, it is. I couldn't decide between that or the cinnamon, but I preferred the green. Good for you. I'm glad we had it for you, Robin. I hope you have a great night and a wonderful holiday season coming up. Oh, you too. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Good night.
Night. Bye bye. What's next, sir? Well, you made a promise to me. I made a promise to you. I promised you that I would give you the chicken and dumplings. Oh. And you promised me that I was going to get a taste your dip. Well, we're going to taste it right at the end of the show. So as soon as the Today's Special Value uh, it draws to a close, we're going to invite okay. Mary out and we're all going to chow down. So I, think I, is what I we're can having. give you the chicken and dumplings knowing that I'm going to get some of your dip, correct? Yes, I promise. Okay. All right, here so, we go. So, chicken and dumplings, this may become. Out of our new cookbook, this may become the favorite of all. Oh, it's so good. I'll tell you, I had this in the earlier presentation. This is chicken and dumpling soup. Right. So it's really kind of a, a cross between a chicken stew and a soup. But you're going to love it because this has the drop dumplings in it. Those great big pillowy, soft uh, clouds of chicken goodness is what I called it earlier. Yeah, so mm. what we did is we browned the chicken first, then we added all of the soup mm -hmm. ingredients, and then when that was slow cooked and done, we dropped the drop biscuits in. It's so good. Oh my word. This is so wonderful. The chicken is so tender. The vegetables melt in your mouth and these dumplings, you just want to climb up on one and live. Mm. <laughs> mm. They mm. are so good, isn't it? There's no I better love. combination than dumplings and chicken. It is the quintessential comfort food. Absolutely. Without measure, without parallel. Oh, oh my gosh. It's and just it's amazing. so simple to make. Again, this is so simple. You put in the ingredients, let it cook. When it's all done, drop in your biscuits. Set it on oven and it's ready to now, go. Now, I will tell you we're going to uh, give you another color tour right, right quick because I want to uh, let everybody know that we are busy on our phone lines and everybody is placing their order now. Over 43,000 ordered for the day, Bob. So that means now well over uh, 13,000 ordered during In the Kitchen with David. Now, we have it for you in this cobalt blue. That cobalt blue is gorgeous. It's that rich cobalt blue that has been so very popular and everyone's been loving this color today. If you love the cinnamon, you're not alone. This has been super popular this evening. In fact, I have fewer than 300 left to go around in that uh -oh, red. Call quickly. Or excuse me, the cinnamon rather. We're calling the cinnamon. Now, our last caller picked this up in green, and that green is lovely. I have fewer in that now in, than 2,000 in the green. And if you want the eggplant, which is our other new item tonight, our new color, we have fewer than 300 of these to go around. Let's also remind you as we take a look at our value story here that if you were to go out to retail, you would have to pay a whole lot more for this pack up. In fact, $196 is what you'd pay at retail. We've got it for you just until the end of the day today and while our color selection lasts at $129.96 and four payments of $32.49. Bob, I'd love it if we could roll our tape again that goes through the entire system so you could give everyone and take your time really explaining here in the final minutes of our final okay. presentation what this is about. So the four in one system does four things at once, right? It has a six quart capacity. So it really, you can use it for two people, or you can use it for six or eight people. It has a glass lid, so that you can always see what's happening down inside. You don't have to take the lid off. It has a nonstick removable six-quart inner liner. That's what you clean up really easy. It has over 150 recipes in, in our new cookbook. It has the thermal insulated travel bag, all in this today's special value. All right. Well, Mary, come on out here, love, and Bob, come on over here. Because it's finally time for the Philly cheesesteak dip. Ready for this? I've been waiting all day. I was hoping you'd say that. All right, what we're gonna do is Hi now there. Mary has some tortilla chips that are corn, so these are gluten free. Chef Andrea just booked it down the hall to get those for me. So I'm gonna just oh. spoon a big bunch of yummy goodness right on top well, and you can just dig right in. Mr. Thank Bob, you. I'm going to put a few <laughs> of these little toasty baguettes on a plate. Uh huh. And top this here so you can dip right into that. Yeah, you won't be able to cut that with your. Um, oh, no, I just want to taste it. Oh, you just first. want the dip? All yes. right. I love Philly cheesesteak. Well, this is exactly the same flavor combination except in dip form. Is there any cheese in this? A little well, bit. Is there oh. any cheese in there? <laughs> what do we think of this, kids? Is there That's, anything but cheese in there? Oh, this there's, there's, ground, there's, uh, there's Philly steak meat in there. Mm -hmm. There are red and green bell peppers, mm -hmm. onions, Worcestershire sauce, a little salt, a little pepper. And then some wit. David? How about that? That is delicious. Isn't it yummy? This recipe is on QVC.com, mm -hmm. and I can They'll tell you, mm -hmm. well over 3 million people have viewed the recipe on Facebook. Well over over 150,000 views on your blog. Wow. For wow. the video. I mean, mm. the video is on YouTube, too, so you can search it. Just go to Google. You'll find it. Mm. Go to Google. Philly, you'll find anything. Philly <laughs> cheesesteak dip. The uh, crew is going to tear this up. Uh -huh. Thank you and congratulations to you, Bob. A great, great day. In fact, the now we're for the day we have taken orders for over forty-three thousand for the day. That's well over thirteen thousand 